Knee, ankle, foot orthosis casting technique. Please follow these casting instructions when ordering a custom KAFO. A quality cast allows us the best opportunity to create a brace that will fit your patient perfectly. Before you begin, make sure you have the necessary materials fiberglass or plaster, cut strip, stockinette, spray bottle or bucket of water, surgical scissors, casting platform, caliper, cast saw. The technique we are going to demonstrate is a dry casting technique. This technique allows you to have more time to adjust the patient position while the cast is curing. We recommend you start by filling out the order form, as your decisions on the brace fabrication may impact the cast you are taking in terms of the length and position. Before starting the casting, measure the heel height and forefoot height of the patient's shoe. This will determine the height needed on the casting platform. In this example, we will use 3 8 inches by placing a quarter inch block and a 1 8 inch block on the poles of the casting block. Place the toe ramp at the metatarsal break. Make sure the heel doesn't touch the poles in order to maintain the shape of the cast. Start by placing the stockinette and the cut strip. We recommend the cut strip to be positioned anterior on the dorsum of the foot to transition laterally. Start casting the patient with fiberglass. We recommend a minimum of three layers of fiberglass throughout the cast from proximal to distal end. This helps the cast maintain its geometry during shipping, handling, and filling. The cast must encompass the fibula head. Once you have finished applying the fiberglass, start generously spraying the entire surface of the cast with a water spray bottle. Place the patient in the correct position. Metatarsal touching the casting block, 7 degrees of tibial inclination, neutral sagittal and coronal alignment. You can use the poles of the casting block as a reference for correct position, but be sure the heel does not touch the poles of the casting block. Adjust the patient position to terminal extension, place the cut strip. Start casting the patient with fiberglass. Make sure to make the cast 2 inches longer than the desired length of the brace. Once you have finished applying the fiberglass, start generously spraying the entire surface of the cast with a water spray bottle. Place the patient in the correct position, terminal extension, neutral sagittal and coronal alignment. Once the cast is almost cured, draw hash marks over the cut strip. Mark the landmarks on the outside of the cast. Fibula head, tibial tubercle, tibial crest, medial and lateral malleoli, navicular, metatarsal heads, base of the fifth, patella, medial and lateral condyle, and any other area of concern. Once you've removed the cast, check that the height of the cast is consistent with the desired brace length. Depending on the KAFO model chosen, you may draw the brace trim lines on the cast. We also recommend you add your 2N USA Townsend account number as well as the patient name on the cast. Wait at least an hour before putting the cast in a box for shipping. Please remove the stockinette before shipping. Stuff the cast to maintain its structure during shipping.